Hello world! In today's video, I'll be unboxing this M5 Stack Unit V2 AI camera and then accessing it with Python. This camera um, integrates several OpenCV modules and outputs a serial JSON of that data. And we'll take a look on and what that looks like before we access it with Python. So I'm going to use this, I mean, the reason why I bought this camera is I plan to use this to create my own AI-powered Halloween decoration. Um, and so my goal is this for this to detect if a face is there, so basically with your in talking distance, and then use the Python speech recognition and voice to text and some LEDs to uh, have a Halloween decoration communicate with trick-or-treaters. So please subscribe to my channel so you can watch me build this from scratch. So first, let's check out this M5 Stack Unit V2 AI camera. Then we'll install it, and then we'll hook it up to Python. So first of all, this is the uh, it's $75. You can buy it here on m5stack.com. It comes, it's this little blue thing. This is kind of the uh, a little bigger than actual size. It's actually smaller than this and um, it comes with the SD card with all the modules already on there. There is a microphone, a camera, uh, this little Lego brick back which uh, comes on and off but it's cool if you want to hook it up to a uh, Lego Mindstorms or something because it does uh, lane tracking as well. It has this USB uh, 2.0 mini connection at the bottom and this UART serial connection. This serial connection uh, outputs continuous JSON data, which is probably what I'll really use. And this USB outputs um, the HTML data, which we'll access with Python using HTML requests. It comes with this little USB cable, and that's what we're going to use today. So the first thing you'll do is you'll connect this USB cable uh, to the M5 Stack camera and then you'll plug it in. So I'm going to plug mine in now. But first, welcome to the 149th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to watch me build this Halloween direc decoration using the M5 Stack Unit V2 AI camera, um, or if you want to see me build my digital assistant in Python, Please like this video and uh, leave a comment. All right, so mine is plugged in. And when I first plugged it in, the very first time it overheated right away. So what you have to do is push these little two, if that happens to you, these two little buttons here, and then pull it from the bottom up. And uh, here's the fan. And all I had to do is plug it back in, spin it manually, and then close it back up. And for now on, the fan kicks in. So I don't know if it got like kind of jarred during shipping, but if you experience uh, overheating, then try that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to your device manager. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm not sure how to do that for your um, Apple device. But what you're, what you're going to want to do is um, if you have ports and comms on here, depending on your Windows version, go to that. Or you can go here to the... Um, these uh, network adapters and find this core chip SR99 USB 2.0 and you'll go here to the driver installation and I'll put the link to this in the description. Um, you're going to want to download this uh, driver. As you can see it works with 64-bit um, Windows but I saw other Mac users using it as well so I think this works for all. Um, so this should have a little uh, warning sign but if it doesn't go ahead and right click it click update driver browse my computers for drivers and then yours should be in your downloads folder so um, so you go to downloads this is what it'll look like uh, you can go ahead and extract all of it just right into that folder and then when you go to here update driver browse my computers, you should find the actual um, un or the extracted file. 
So go ahead and click next and install those drivers. Once you do, um, it should be instantly and automatically. Um, you'll see right here that it will connect to network two. And that's what it does. It creates a, a network connection with your computer. So if, if that works successfully, then you can go ahead and go to IP config. Now it does, oops, you can go to your command prompt and then go to IP config. Then you can find the IP address. Use this default gateway address, not the IP4 address. Go ahead and copy that and then put it into your browser. Let's copy and paste that into there. Now, I've already played with this. So what you'll want to do, how yours will look like, is it will already, uh, it'll start in the camera stream module. But as you can see, it is my face. And you can see down here, we have this running JSON data. All right. And so what that is, is um, coming from this module, the object recognition. So it's important before you move to Python that you set it to whatever module you want to extract the data from. And how you do that is you go to this wheel and then you go to the boot function and you're going to want to click whatever boot function you want. I want the object recognition, so I just clicked on here. And for now on, every time you boot up this M5 stack camera, it'll be in the object recognition mode. So now we have this JSON result. And um, like I said, I probably won't use Python and the USB cable. Um, for my project, I'm actually going to use the serial data so it pumps this data live. But we have a JSON formatted string here. So we have a number of one in object, which is the probability, the X, Y, width, and height coordinates, the type. So it recognizes me as a person. It's 99% sure I'm a person. And then we're running the object recognition module. All right, so that's what this looks like here. So if we go into Python, so let me close that and I run it. Okay, it's finished running. And as you can see, we have a status code of 200, which means we successfully connected. And I was able to collect the JSON data of person. So um, just in case you wanted to know what that is, is if you go, if you remember from our JSON data, if we go back to the camera, but if you remember, so what we did was we did a status code of 200, which means we successfully connected. And then we iterated through this nested dictionary and got this, this type of person. So what I eventually plan to do is it says, if you're 98 or higher percent sure that the type is person of object recognition, then go ahead and start this code where we have an AI powered conversation with a Halloween decoration. All right, so let's check out the code now. So the first thing we do is we um, you're going to have to import requests. Um, the uh, first thing you're going to have to do is import the request-html. So you can either pip install that or you can go to settings, your interpreter if you're in PyCharm. And what it is is requests-html. So you can either pip install it or install the package here. And then once that's installed, you're going to go from request uh, underscore HTML import HTML session. And we're also going to import JSON so we can do a nested dictionary. Then you're going to establish a session. So session equals HTML session. And then you call the class R equals session dot get. And you're going to put that IP address on top of the HTTP. So it's going to go to this URL. Um, you don't have to do this. I did this just to for troubleshooting and to show you, but we're going to do a status code equals R, which is what we established here, dot status underscore code, and then we print that status code. So if you know your request codes, 200 is successful, 400 means you messed up, 500 means they messed up, and then we're going to do R dot HTML dot render. 
And this is really the crux of the HTML requests versus the normal requests. So what you're going to do is you're going to render all the JavaScript on the page. Then you're going to sleep for one second and then you're going to hold that page. You're going to keep that page true. And then uh, this allows scrolling down if uh, scroll down is what requires the JavaScript to load. Then you're going to store that in data r.html.find. And then this is the function. So um, so what is that function? So so let's take a look at it and see what this is. Okay, and then just copy and paste that IP address. All right. And so it starts pumping out some JSON. And so what we want is this JSON data. So what you do is you right click on here, wherever you want. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to highlight it. Just inspect. Uh, make sure it's on elements. And what you're going to do is see this pre-ID equals, you might not see pre depending on what you're trying to do, but pre-ID equals function dash result dash pre and when we open that you can see that it's pumping this uh, json data right here so every time this page is loading which is doing continuously that's the data we want so you go back here and you can do copy um, xpath right here copy xpath and then just copy and paste it Delete whatever is not necessary. Uh, make sure there's a hashtag there and then put it in quotes. And then what this is going to do is it gives you an HTML. So you can't really use the data for anything, right? Because it's a list. Um, so for each item in data, we want to get the text, right? So for each of these, so right now, this is an item, this number, this object, and this running. So for each of those, we want to get the text. So data text, you can call this whatever you want, equals item, which is up here, dot text. And then I want to load this into a dictionary, right? Because this is just a, an HTML index right now. So what we're going to do is data dictionary equals JSON dot loads. And then pass the text file that's JSON formatted. And then the object equals data dictionary object which is this right here, right? So I'm going to go into this object. And for each detail, but this can be for item two or whatever you want this to be called, in object. So for each one of these, I just want the type. So type equals detail. And then you put in type, which matches to this. So if you wanted the X coordinate, you could just put X equals detail and then change that to X if you wanted. And then do that for each one, but we don't want that. And then I just printed out the type, which is what you see here, person, which is what this was here. So if it thinks it sees a cat, this will change to cat. And that is how you use HTML or requests HTML to get JavaScript information from your unit to uh, or your unit V2 M5 stack AI camera. Um, and so I hope you subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and consider subscribing. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.